Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a serious video, you guys. Um, if you can tell by the title, obviously it's serious. I feel like I just cannot get pregnant for nothing in the world. Um, for those of you who don't know, you can watch my previous videos and I'll also try to remember to link it down in the description. I had a miscarriage on 8-7-2015 and I was seven weeks pregnant um, and I'm trying, I want to make this video short because I am not trying to cry. I am not trying to cry. But long story short, we didn't know the reason as to why we had a miscarriage. Um, the doctor just, you know, informed us that this was normal in a sense, you know, that, you know, it happens to a lot of women. You know, they give you the whole story that blah, 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 percent of women this happens to, but then they get pregnant. Um, in which for us, we continue to try I think we tried literally the week after the miscarriage um, in which it's if for you for those who have not gone through a miscarriage your body getting rid of um, the baby and you know the sack and you know just trying to get normal again um, it just stunk like literally it just smelled it was so nasty to me it smelled like it just smelled like death in a sense it smelled like death or like see see I don't know just smell it was an unknown smell and so for me and my husband we're trying to make our body you know clear itself out because I was only so many weeks I didn't have to get the um the cleansing done by the doctor um anyhow so us trying to get busy it was kind of difficult because the smell just was not gone yet and that can take up to like a week or maybe a week and a half to go away um, so we tried, we tried, we tried, like literally we were trying every week, and you know, if it wasn't every day, it was every other day, and we did not get pregnant, so that whole month, you know, we tried, and then the, the month after, we tried a lot, and so forth, like the, the months kind of dwindled down, like we weren't trying like every day, but we were definitely trying every other day, um, and if it wasn't every other day, then it was like, I was already tracking my basal temperature, temperature. I was already tracking my um, my ovulation, whether I was buying the kit or, you know, I, I was already doing my research so I know what to look for. I know it comes right after my period. I know, you know, what that, different types of stages that I was in my ovulation. So I was on it. Um, and here we are. Today is 10-3, um, 16, and we are still not pregnant. And... I had some blood work done in which my blood work showed that everything was good other than the fact that I have low iron which I've been anemic off and on for years so I didn't even think that that was a problem still to this day I don't know if that's a problem because there are women who are actually pregnant and then when I had my son if I'm not mistaken I was I was anemic then um, and which if you're not familiar about being anemic it's just when you have really low iron and you typically want to eat on you know chalk or if you're wanting ice like you crave for things that you should not be eating for me it's ice um so i knew i needed to get my blood work done i got my blood work done it showed that my iron was low so I, i'm taking iron pills and the iron pills i'm not doing it as consistently just because they make me sick um i eat food and i have to wait like maybe an hour for my food to digest in order for me to take the pill but typically when i wait that hour my food digests and I can I don't know for some reason I, I just get really sick my stomach feels like it's just turned I feel like I'm about to throw up so I have a love and a hate relationship with my iron pills and I'll put the name of my iron pills either here or here one of them um which I just go to CVS I was you know went to the doctor they prescribed me these and I also for some reason I don't know what made me do this but Again, I think let's research again. I went and I said, you know, maybe I need to take folic acid pills because maybe my, you know, my folic acid is really low. And so I've been taking folic acid, which I got from Walgreens. Um, it's the finest nutrients, nu nutrients, and which I got this from Walgreens, like I said, and it's a 400 um, MCG and it's uh, 400 tablets. So I take that, um, I'm pretty okay with that just because the pills itself are really small. I want to show you, they don't make me sick, I don't have any type of side effects with, with this pill taking, but that's how small it is. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's just really, really small, you guys. It's almost like a freaking dot 
I'm going to go back and jump back on my birth, not birth control, but my um, prenatal vitamins in which I got so many different prenatal vitamins from my doctor. This is just one of them. I want to turn this light out because it's too bright. I think that's better anyways. So this is just a prenatal vitamin that I got from my doctor, you guys. Um, I have so many different kinds um, and they come in so many different types of tablets and shapes. So that's what that one looks like here. So I know at one point in time I got tested and I was low in vitamin D. I'm very picky about what I eat so that in itself you know, has an effect. So I am making sure that everything that I've been low on in the past, I'm just going to make sure I try to maintain it. I'm also taking vitamin C supplements you guys because I need vitamin C supplements. So I just feel like um, I know everyone keeps telling me in due time and due time but I'm just so overwhelmed and I'm so like irritated just speaking real truth um, I'm so emotional because I just see so many different people you know having babies and I'm like already 30 and I'm just thinking like you know how long is this gonna be and I'm not questioning God or anything all of that I just I just never would have thought this, that this would have been me having to go through this. Like, I never had an issue getting pregnant, obviously, when I was like 18, 19, when I got pregnant. So, for me, this is just a lot. It makes me feel like less of a woman because I can't, you know, even have a freaking kid. And no, no, I'm just speaking the truth, you guys. Like, this is just my thought process of what I think um, off and on. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just, I just feel like discouraged. Um, I see all these different, you know, pregnancy, hospital bags and so forth. And it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Um, I don't know if you guys are going through this as well. So I'm just going to shorten this video because I'm not going to cry. If you guys are going through something similar, you know, tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you've taken. Tell me what suggestions that you've um, done as well. I've talked to my doctor on and off. We've basically been communicating about different strategies. I'm just not trying to do the fertility because it just costs so much money. That would be like my last, you know, last thing that I'm going to do. But let me know what you guys did. Um, if you're taking anything particular, I have changed my diet pr pretty much completely. I am drinking so much more water. And I, like I said, I'm changing my diet. My whole lifestyle is changing just to make sure that one, that I'm healthy because I've really had some health scares. And then two, to make sure that I can not only be able to get pregnant, but carry this pregnancy. You know, that's very important to me. So make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. But for real, for real, comment so I can like get some ideas of what I need to do. Um, and if you have a story similar to mine, comment below so I can cannot feel as discouraged <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.